All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, accessing nested objects. So the sub properties of objects can be accessed by chaining together the dot or bracket notation. <laughs> Here's here's a nested object. So we've got uh, const our storage. We've got desk, drawer, stapler, cabinet, top drawer, folder, one, folder two, all this stuff. So this uh, object's got this object inside of it. This object's got this object inside of it. And this object has these two objects inside of it. And this object also has this one inside of it. All right. And then all the values are right here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Or property or whatever, you know. Anyway, so let's go, let's uh, look at this. So our storage dot cabinet top drawer dot folder two would say our storage dot cabinet. So dot cabinet. And then we'd have the uh, bracket notation since this has uh, a two words separated by a space. So it'd be top drawer right here. And then folder two would be, uh, okay, secrets. Uh, and then we're going to have our storage dot desk dot drawer would be our stores dot desk dot drawer, which would give us stapler. All right. So our storage dot cabinet top drawer. And this is just to reiterate top drawer dot folder two would be the string secrets and our stores dot desk dot drawer would be the string stapler. All right. So now we're going to access the my storage object and assign the contents of the glove box property to the glove box contents variable. And we'll use dot notation for all properties where possible. Otherwise, we'll use bracket notation. OK, so right here, we're going to start off with my storage. So we'll have my storage dot car dot inside. And then we'll have the bracket notation for glove box here. So we'll do brackets and then we'll have a quotes glove box like that and then we'll say that's it pretty much so let's come down here and say um console.log glove box contents like that and you see it's maps which is what it would be right so let's run the test looks good and submit it all right, now we're on to accessing nested arrays, and we'll see you next time.